Hello everyone, thank you for joining us for this Movers and Shakers interview. Today with me I have Richard Cregan, who is the Senior Director for Global Smart Grid Solutions. Thank you so much Mr. Richard for joining us for this uh, Movers and Shakers interview. So the first question that I have for you today is, um, despite the fact that we have seen some setbacks in the industry, um, I'm kind of curious to see how ITRON perceives this and going forward, how is this going to impact um, your business with this fast adoption of smart meters? Excellent. Well, thank you very much for having us with you today. We really appreciate the opportunity to be here, Farah. And, and I tell you, it's a, it's a great time to be at ITRON, and it's a wonderful time to be in the energy industry. Okay. Um, we're already seeing a tremendous impact on our business. Uh, as you mentioned, we, we, we have shipped over 8 million smart meters in the past two years, and two of our major installations are coming live and completing very soon and really seeing the benefits mm -hmm. of this. Um, moving forward, we'll continue to exploit new ways to have our products integrated into the smart grid across the world and, and continue to look at new ways that we can add value. So what are the biggest hurdles for utilities in terms of adopting smart grid and uh, how can I try and help? As we, as we look at this, we're looking at, in my opinion, a, a classic crossing the chasm challenge. Uh, we need to work with the marketplace in general to make sure that, that they're making a, a good sound business decision. So you think about that, the first thing is, will the technology work? Does the technology work? And as we look across the work that ITRON's doing and the deployment that we have going on, um, some of our large scale deployments across North America and the world are, are providing that proof. The technology does work, uh, both with ITRON and, and with our competitors. As you mentioned, there's lots of these that are going out and they are functioning. Uh, when situations like a major delivery outage occurs in San Diego and the system comes back to life and the ITRON AMI solution comes back to operational readiness as quickly as it did, utilities have confidence. When we see companies like Centerpoint delivering interval data to the Texas retail marketers every day that allow them to offer new products and solutions, we begin to see the system works, utilities have confidence. So that's the first step. Secondly, will they get the business benefit? So utilities need to understand that they're going, if they're going to make the investment, that they're going to be able to recognize the business value. And so how can we make sure that they're able to get the return on investment? Great. Well, iTron certainly has been performing very well in this market. Do you have any other thoughts about your position in this area? I, I would play back again, Farah. It's a great time to be at iTron. It's a wonderful time to be in the energy industry. Uh, we're seeing all kinds of new changes. Um, we'll continue to look at how we expand our systems, integrate them into the larger energy infrastructure. Uh, we'll continue to look at how we measure and visualize the system, how we provide new capabilities to react to and take advantage of the data that's coming out of those systems, um, and, and really work with the consumer engagement, which is key to changing this relationship that we have with energy. And so those are really, really important. Um, throughout uh, the industry, we'll continue to keep our roots. Um, ITRON continues to provide solutions to utilities to enable them to operate more efficiently, to enable them to change the way that they run their business in reaction to some of these changes. Um, we will continue to provide knowledge to shape your future. That's our slogan. It remains our slogan. Um, the measurement in more places to provide visibility situational awareness and integrated intelligence to move us forward. That's what ITRON does. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much again for joining us today for our Movies and Shakers interview. I wish you all the best and uh, congratulations again on earning your well-deserved product quality leadership award. Thank you. This concludes our Movies and Shakers interview.